Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to run through. And for the Mayers who only just healed after waiting for decades, Paige Kennedy thought it would be a good idea to reopen the wounds by tweeting this. This Dr. Dre album sounding fire? Hope you all get to hear it. As we dive into the topics today, it's our MO at this point. Hit the like button if you enjoy content like this. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and find me on social media at etlifestyle underscore web. So we'll start with the latest surprise coming just days after we got tweets like this from Twitter. No one should be listening to Eminem past the age of 14 and others alike. People that listen to Eminem need to grow up. So the latest surprise is not for fans per se, but for people like I highlighted earlier and just a few hours ago Obama tweeted. Music has always played an important role in my life and that was especially true during my presidency. In honor of my book hitting shelves tomorrow, I put together this playlist featuring some memorable songs from my administration. Hope you enjoy it. And as you can see from the list, Eminem's Lose Yourself is on it and a user expands on the significance of this from the memoir. In his memoir, Obama writes that he listened to Eminem's Lose Yourself before his first debate with John McCain in 2008. He even quotes some of the lyrics, saying they reminded him of his early underdog status. Not surprised to see it on this list. Talking about playlists, NASA decided to share this. Today's playlist on the right to the launch pad, and Eminem is included on it, but this time around till I collapse is the choice. What are they listening to right now? So, like we mentioned before, they are in two different vehicles. Um, <laughs> they're on one playlist. We have songs like Alicia Keys, How It Feels to Fly, Phil Collins, In the Air Tonight, Eminem, Till I Collapse, Van Halen right now. So, like a pretty, pretty oh, big that's mix. that's one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah. yeah. These 2002 songs have been following each other, especially since the 2010s, competing for the top motivational song by Eminem. It's like smoke and fire, the way they both appear on lists at this point, Lose Yourself and Till I Collapse, and on Reddit for instance, users expressed how there was some missed opportunity here. For instance, Spacebound is mentioned, probably listening to Spacebound and another one, and it could have been Marsh, they definitely messed that up. But jokes aside, it's about the feeling as the user expands. Listen to Till I Collapse and you'll feel you don't even need the rocket to go to space. Moving on, it's important to highlight the fact that Eminem's Without Me became the first hip-hop song from the 2000s decade to top 1 billion views on this platform. Eminem holds a similar record on Spotify but with Lose Yourself and 50 Cent has now joined Eminem at the top to become the second hip-hop artist to do so on this platform with a hip-hop song from the 2000s. In the Club has now been remastered in ultra high definition on this platform after it hit 1 billion views a few hours ago and 50 acknowledged this milestone with this. 1 billion views look not bad for a kid from Southside, lol. And people still don't forget the role with TI and some use this to take shots at him. That number is the double of the views from all TI's music. Certainly hyperbolic but a jab at TI in comparison to 50's prime. Here's a fun fact about this, In The Club should have been the first hip-hop song from the 2000s to hit a billion on this platform, and as at September this year, it was still ahead of Eminem's Without Me, 962 million compared to 960 million, but got outpaced in the last few weeks, and now 50 and Eminem are the only hip-hop artists with this record from that decade so far. Shady Records also shared this milestone on their page, and as this news was circulating, we got something else going around on Twitter about Beyonce's remix of the song where user states, 50 Cent blocked Beyonce's version of In The Club from radio because it was starting to outsell his version. But I can't find any sources so far to back up this claim that 50 did that and if that were true, it would have been the label that actually did it as they have the rights to it. But 50 is apparently on the chopping block for that. Instead of maybe collaborating with her, he decides to be a hateful man and do that. Not surprised, that's why Bay is an icon and 50 hasn't made a hit since 2007. Beyonce wins again. And another user adds, he should have been cancelled back then. I find this one hilarious, since cancellation as we know it today is driven by social media. But luckily a few people called this out, y'all still promoting this lie years later, lol, another one, y'all just be lying. The outcome of the lawsuit with Rick Ross in regards to his In The Club remix shows that even if Beyonce ran into any issues, it would have been with the label rather than 50. But hey, Dragon 50 Cent brings in more clicks and attention. 
Moving on with all the latest wins Eminem has accumulated in 2020, I had to drop this. You gotta feel bad for those that hated Eminem from day one. They've had to witness a streak of wins that continue over 20 years later. And although some of you may not be 21 yet, hating Eminem from the start would mean hate that's old enough to drink in the United States since Slim Shady LP dropped over 21 years ago. But that will be all from me today. Comment below and see you on the next one.